Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Mark Mazzatenta and I'm here to help strengthen your guitar skills. Today's topic is about an alternative tuning. Now, there are lots of alternative tunings that you can explore. This one is called Dadgad. And the downside of alternative tunings is that once you retune to something different, that now places your notes in different spots than you're used to. But the upside is that you will get chords and interval combinations that were not possible with standard tuning. So it's definitely worth it to explore some of these. So I like Dad Gad, and here's how we want to begin. Just retune. So you want to start with your sixth string and you're going to loosen it a whole step to where it's a D. And you can check it with your fourth string. Okay, so now I've got a D. Now, right away, that gives us something new because now we have an E flat and a D on our sixth string that we didn't have before. Uh, so with the E flat, we can now play E flat chords with a nice low bass and we can also play D chords with a nice low D in the bass, which is awesome because in regular tuning, it, when we play our D chord or D minor chord, we always have to be careful to just play four strings, but with a low D, you can just thrash across everything and get this huge um, you know, D chord or D minor chord. Uh, okay, let's continue. We're gonna loosen our first string until it's a D as well. And we can check that against the others. We're going to have three Ds. Sixth string, fourth string, and first string are now Ds. Different octaves, but they're all Ds. Then we're going to go to our second string and loosen that a whole step so that we get an A. And we can check that with our fifth string A. Okay, good. So now we have D, A, D, G, A, D. So we have Dad Gad. Now, I suppose I would call that open string chord um, D sus4. So if you need a D sus4, you've got it in your open strings. All right, so after you retune, and this is the case for all different tunings, you're going to have to go in there and explore. It's going to take a while. Here's where the work begins, where you have to now explore, hey, where are my notes? Where are my scales? Where are my chord shapes? So in this case, think about the key of D and just start finding the D major scale. And you can do that with all the strings. And then what you'll do is you'll start making these connections like, oh, instead of playing that, I could combine an open with a fretted, like. Or if you were playing a D scale here, you might realize, oh, I could go across the strings. And you actually want that ringing, the notes ringing against one another, so that we're fingering our scales now across the fretboard rather than along one string. And I will have these examples tabbed out, these little scale examples, some of the chord shapes, I'll have them tabbed out so you can <clears throat> see what I'm playing. So if you map out the D scale, you might end up realizing instead of playing on one string, you can go... Those are all on different strings. And you get that cool ringing sound. And you might play a D scale like this, D major. Hear all that? beautiful 
harp-like sound. Or you could play it like this. Hear all that ringing? You want that. So you need to hold the notes so that they can ring against one another. That's beautiful, and that's one of the advantages to this dad-gad tuning. Okay, then you would want to start exploring your chords. Now, you can find dad-gad chord charts online uh, and explore those on your own, but I'll just demonstrate some that I like to play. Uh, so for a D major chord, this is actually D major seven. I might play that. Now, a regular D major triad, totally possible, and D minor too. E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, C major. Oh, that's actually, I like that. That's uh, actually a D, uh, sorry, C major add two. Now, when you find a chord shape that you really love and sounds great, start moving it around each fret and see what you get. Because you'll, you'll find where the sweet ones are and where the ones that you're not going to use. Like, I'm not going to use that one. Okay, that's a G. That's just your pure G major triad. Same shape as my C. I like that. I would call that an A flat major seven sharp 11. I just love all those intervals interacting with one another. Now you can't get that in standard tuning. So I think you're starting to see how some magical, wonderful things happen with alternative tunings. Okay, now I'd like to just play a short example from the Celtic repertoire. The Flower of Maharali. everybody I hope you liked that and I hope you'll explore that new tuning it does take a little time to find where things are but it's totally worth it you get some awesome effects and if you look in my playlists you'll see one that's called percussive acoustic guitar and in there I've got five original pieces using this dadgad tuning so check those out Thanks for joining me. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got over 150 videos now, and I'll see you back here at the next one.